Good morning, everyone, or wherever you are, whatever time of day it is. Uh, it's raining like crazy here on PEI, and it's a really miserable day, so great day to make a video. And I'm going to talk about something that I really haven't talked about too much on my channel. I talk about fountain pens, I talk about paper, I talk about ink. I don't talk necessarily well about all of these things, because I'm not an expert, but I do like fountain pens an awful lot. And if you're into fountain pens, you're going to want to take your fountain pens with you someplace. So what I would suggest you have is a uh, pen sleeve, like a little uh, case to carry it in, or in this case, a pen case. Or as this thing is called, uh, by the rather awkward name, uh, the Lahit Lab Book Style Pencil Case, or Pen Case Small. Um, Lahit. Uh, Lihit, Lahit, anyway, L-I-H-I-T, and it's called uh, a book type pen case, um, because when you unzip it, it lays flat like a book, <laughs> and it has a page that you flip over, so yeah, I can see why they call it a book type pen case. Um, <clears throat> it's made of polyester, uh, feels like a you know, there's fairly heavy stitching, fairly solid um, zipper on it. And it's actually a great size just to toss in a bag, or in my case, just to carry around or toss in my winter coat, which I wear for 10 months of the year on Prince Edward Island. <laughs> Not quite that bad. Nine months of the year. Anyway, <laughs> so anyway, you open it up, and inside the first cover, there's... Uh, these little straps. Now you can put your pen in here and strap it in and it, you know, just put the clip over it and, it and there's a little strap on the bottom that holds the pen in place. Uh, there's one over here too where you can just slide it in and there's actually a little sleeve at the bottom of this one for whatever reason. Um, you can put a, probably, you know, you could probably put six pens in this fairly comfortably. My only observation, uh, negative observation, is it's, it's, there's a shame there's not a, a protective sleeve between these two uh, storage areas because yeah, it probably isn't a problem, but uh, if you put a lot of pens in there, they might bang against each other and scratch. But if you put, like, say, four pens in here, maybe a pencil or two, even if maybe if you had, like, a leather sleeve that was already in, you could just set it in. Or maybe you could even have a piece of uh, fabric or between the two just to, just to keep them from banging against each other. Now, it uh, has on the outside two sleeves. I guess if you were... Uh, you could probably put a little notebook in there with phone numbers, uh, business cards. Um, I wouldn't put credit cards or anything in there. They would probably fall out. But, you know, it's a great thing for, like, your if you have a card or something like that, you can put it in there, a uh, shopping list or something like that. Now, when you open it up, there's your front page, of course. And, um, yeah, I would probably... You know what? You could get six in there quite comfortably, I'd say. But I tend to use four if I'm going places. Now, the other side is these little uh, mesh storage areas. And I have my business cards in there. And there's one at the back here that I keep a notebook in. And, you know, I just toss that in there. You could probably put your cell phone in there. I would show you that, but I'm using my cell phone to shoot this video. Because I am low-tech. Actually, you know what? Cell phone cameras are pretty good. <laughs> so there, yeah. Heavy stitching. It's quite well made. And it lays flat, which I quite like, you know? And you just flip that over and you get what you need. And, uh, yeah, I would probably recommend, say, putting a little piece of paper towel between them or something like that if you got a lot of pens in there. But otherwise, or if, if you just sort of line them up properly so they don't smash against each other. But it's a great uh, size. It's very well made. It's very sturdy. And I like the zipper. It goes all the way around. And if one thing they could have 
put on this that would have made it a little better would be some kind of a strap that you could, uh, you know, just toss around, you could hold on to. But otherwise, it's actually a perfect size just to carry around like that. Um, the um, logo doesn't say Lahit or L-I-H-I-T. It says designed for arrangement. Um, now, they make other sizes, other products. Um, I believe this is made in Taiwan. Uh, or is it? Actually, wait. I just want to check. There's a little label inside, I think. And it says... Made in Cambodia. Oh, yeah, there it is. Lahit Lab. Right here it says... You can see that. Yeah, so made in Cambodia. Uh, I'm Lahit. L-I-H-I-T Lab. And it's polyester, 100% polyester, made in Cambodia. And I think it's a good product, and I like it. And, uh, you know, I have tried a few different little pen cases. My daughter has one. Uh, my wife has a pen case that are quite nice. Uh, I have a couple little ones, and I have a big bag that I, you know, can toss stuff into. But this is the perfect size. Like I say, I can toss it in my winter coat pocket, or if it's the summertime, I can just carry it around in a bag or on by hand. And it's always nice to have a pen case if you're into fountain pens because sometimes fountain pen people find other fountain pen people and they get together and they geek out <laughs> we all sit around talking about fountain pens because that's one of the great joys of fountain pens anyway i hope you have a great day and if you like the video give it a thumbs up and if you're new around here i really invite you to subscribe and also i've got lots of other videos and it'd be great if you took a little bit of time out just to look at them uh you know, I'm no, by no means an expert, but I really do love fountain pens. I really love ink. I love paper. And I love all kinds of stuff. So it's fun to share. And anyway, if you um, have tried this brand before, let me know in the comments. Or if you have other suggestions for pen cases that are quite nice, let me know. Um, there's so many wonderful products out there for fountain pens. And I've only just barely scratched the top. So thank you very much. Anyway. I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.